The situation in this quadrant of the galaxy is grim. The beast infection is spreading practically unchecked through the reaches of the old Tidani Empire. The Republican fleet is barely holding the line, and our brothers and sisters from the other kith are spread thin. For every fleet that defeats a beast incursion, another is never heard from again, and adds to the threat. The Kith Council is aware of all that you have done out here to halt this infection. Falcorum and the ships with us are all that could be spared from the fighting to aid you. They are under your command. The Republican Tidani are promising some sort of super weapon to aid in the battle, but until then, we desperately need to find a way to stop this plague. Evasive pattern alpha. Roger, command. I command. This is Recon 214 to command. I have target in visual range. Kids, blood, it's massive. Understood, Recon 214. Return to command ship immediately. Roger that. Come in, Tidon flagship. What are you doing? You can't release that ship on the galaxy. Do you know what you're about to do? Formation. We need a sample of the original beast. Hold off the Imperialist fleet and slip a mimic in to dock with the Nagarok. We need an edge in these large fleet battles. Our engineers are ready to design a Dreadnought class battleship. Alright, I'm down with that. I got uh, new carriers with uh, fully loaded support Stand modules and stuff. Point. Yeah, I kind of went overboard with the Acolytes, too, but more is better in Homeworld, always, so I'm ready for the fight. We Manic also three. spruce up Group 3 um, quite a bit, and then we get attacked. They threw the first stone, so we, uh, we throw a bigger stone back. But we begin the attack. The beast mothership has hyperspaced into the sector and is on an intercept vector. The Imperials must have called them in. Oh boy. Things just got more complicated. So we end up getting the our mimic. There we go. We get our mimic to go in. To get the sample of the original beast. 
And at the same time, we got attacked pretty hard. And since the Mimic got detected, he was, he was just destroyed by the time he got up there. So, we had to take out um, all incoming enemies. Oh yeah, and they started doing this stupid missile trick again. I'm trying to take my ships over, but got enough fighters to deal with it, so. Send the third fleet in to take out the proximity sensors. While at the same time being attacked constantly. It's okay though, the third fleet, they know what they're doing. So, we end up getting our second mimic. This time we're going interceptor. Hopefully it makes it through. And while the third fleet's on the attack, it makes it. Target acquired, command returning. <laughs> he sounds so scared. I, I would want to return as well. So, Underway. we had to keep fighting, obviously. We again. It is time. I ask to do the best with this weapon you spoke of. Then we will defeat, and the carving of empires can begin. The Beast and most of the Imperialist ships have gone into hyperspace. We have to fight our way out of this and capture a Tidan ship. Someone on board will be able to tell us what weapon the Beast was talking about. Well, that wasn't what we were expecting, but we picked our unfortunate soul, this missile frigate. Nope, it's a destroyer. It's missile destroyer. Luckily, it's missiles, um... Like, de-arm themselves before they hit itself. So it can't take out the workers trying to bring it in. Worker ready. Target acquired. Report of hostiles by group three. Lock dive. So we end up capturing it, repairing it, and finishing off the rest of the uh Titani fleet in the area. But I just won't leave us alone. So then we actually finish them off. We hold the power of the third fleet. The third fleet is just all over it. But anyway, cleared them out, and now we have to find the super weapon that they're after.